Hello guys, how's it going? So this video is going to be a little bit different than my standard video. It's going to be a guide on how to set up mouse keys to be used with RuneScape. Um, so as you can see, I'm just on my desktop right now. And unfortunately, when I try to use my Camtasia recorder, it makes the uh, arrow, uh, Windows arrow, not work. So all my stuff looks weird and ugly, but it's whatever. It just it shuts it off as soon as I start recording and gives me this stupid error message. So I'm just going to do it without arrow. I don't think that actually matters at all, but that's why this looks so bad. But anyways, um, so mouse keys are useful for a lot of things in RuneScape. It just means it makes it so you can make your mouse jump a certain amount of pixels, so it makes dropping and stuff like that and banking a lot faster. And it's really good for certain types of skilling. And a lot of people seem to struggle with how to get it set up right. And like, It, it also involves sticky keys, which is another Windows function. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, what you want to do is go to control panel and by the way this is for Windows 7 I have never used any other operating system really my old computer had Vista and I don't really remember how to do it for Vista and I don't think anyone uses Vista anymore anyways but um, Windows 8 probably won't be that different I'm not really sure exactly um, and I'm sure Mac is completely different I don't even know if Mac has most keys but anyways once you get to your control panel um, you if you aren't you want to type in this all control panel items but either way you're looking for the ease of access center which can be amazingly difficult to find here we go so you click on the ease of access center always can this and it'll you. talk to you which is always nice and what you want to click on is make the mouse easier to use and then right here you can see that it says turn on mouse keys this little checkbox you want to check this and then you want to click on set up mouse keys and it's very important Make sure what you do now is copy exactly what I have right here because this is what exactly what you need for the drop down to be good for banking. You'll have to adjust it a little bit to get the right drop down for um, dropping items. But basically, you want to make sure you have mouse keys on with this little checkbox. You want to have everything checked that I have checked. So um, you don't want to have this checked, but um, when using keyboard shortcuts to turn on ease of access settings on, Display a warning message when turning a setting on, make a sound when turning a setting on or off. I mean, these are sort of up to you, but for ge generally, if you copy exactly what I have, it will work. Um, you want to make, this is very important that you have this checked. Um, and it's easier if you have numlock off when you have mouse keys on, so that way when you have numlock on, it means that you can use your number pad still and not use mouse keys. And you can choose whether you have the mouse keys icon on the taskbar. But anyway, set it up exactly like this, and the only things that you're really going to be adjusting ever are these things the top speed and acceleration and these just change how much the mouse will jump um, and the way mouse keys works is that without control held down with mouse keys on as you can see I'm, I'm holding it down my two right now and it's just moving the mouse down you can move the mouse left and right and I'm using my number pad right now you can use you can move a diagonal and then the five in the center is click so your whole number pad to the right side of your keyboard for most keyboards anyways unless you have a, like a compact laptop you should have a number pad and that's what you're going to be using for mouse keys. So obviously 2 is the button that goes down and 5 is the click. But as you can see, my mouse is not jumping right now. And that's where sticky keys comes into play. Now what you can do is just hold down control. And when I hit control, my mouse jumps like this. So as long as I'm holding down control and pressing 2, my mouse will jump. If I hit 8, it goes back up. But that's annoying to have to be holding down control all the time. So the next thing you need to do is set up your sticky keys. Alright, so you want to head back to the ease of access center and this time you want to click on make the keyboard easier to use make the mouse easier to use is for mouse keys and the keyboard easier to use is where you can set up your sticky keys among other things so right here as you can see you have the checkbox to turn on sticky keys and actually you can you can um, do mouse keys from the keyboard place also I didn't realize that but you can do it from either and it'll be exactly the same but anyways you want to check turn on sticky keys and you want to hit the setup sticky keys and you can just copy exactly what I have right here because it will work. Um, basically what Sticky Keys does is it makes it so that um, you can have things like Shift, Control, and Alt just held down without actually holding them down. So it's really good for mouse keys because you can just double tap Control and it will be held down until you tap it again. So you don't have to bother with holding down Control. And that's an, I, think, I think a thing that a lot of people don't realize about mouse keys is that you can use Sticky Keys and not have to be holding down Control the entire time. So just copy these exact settings. Um, well, you can turn on sticky keys when you uh, hit shift five times fast. So if, you, if I do that right now, it makes that weird sound, and I just turned it off. 
and if I do it again then you get this little pop up and you hit yes and it will turn it back on and from then on um, you can you can decide whether you want to have it make the sounds and stuff if you have the sounds on then each time you press control or shift it will make a beeping sound it's kind of annoying so I have that off I think I don't know it's checked but it doesn't make sound so I don't know um, but anyways, as you can see down here, these little, these two little things. This represents sticky keys. This represents mouse keys. And as you can see, if I hit numlock, then it turns off mouse keys. If I hit it again, it turns mouse keys back on. And right here, if I press Control once, then it just hold it down for one tap of any button. If I press Control twice, then it'll be held down permanently. So as you can see, I'm not holding Control, but my mouse will jump like this. And if you press it again, it'll turn it back off. So that's how to set up mouse keys completely so that it'll actually work for you. When you keep in mind that when you have control double tapped like this, it will affect your entire keyboard so whenever you try to type anything, it will just go crazy like if you're trying to type um anything, it'll just use control shortcuts so like if you have something if you're like on something like a text and you hit A, then it'll do control A and select the entire thing. So you want to turn off the control before you actually try to try to type anything, or else it would, your computer will just like freak out. Um, but that's how you get mouse keys actually set up. And if I head over head over to RuneScape, then I can show you guys exactly what you can do with mouse keys. So with mouse keys all set up, then you can do things like this, where you right click with your mouse, drop down with your keyboard, and click with your keyboard. And the buttons are actually using. I'll show you guys on this just an image of a keyboard right here. These two buttons right here, the two and the five. And the two on your number pad is the drop down, the five is the click. And you can't right click with mouse keys, at least not as far as I know. I'm pretty sure that's just generally true. So you, what you do is you right click, hit two, hit five, and that's going to be your basic action for mouse keys. So I right click on the PRS with my mouse, hit two to drop down, hit five to bank, go like that, do it fast, and it just sort of becomes muscle memory. And it's the same thing for dropping. I'll show you guys dropping next, actually. It's just a slightly different setting for dropping. Um, you just want to adjust your top speed a little bit. So to get the setting for dropping items, you basically just adjust the top speed down a few notches. I'll show you the, show you guys the exact setup, but what you can do with this is you can have it drop down to drop like that. So as you can see, you just right click, hit the 2, and hit the 5, and it'll drop. And you can do that pretty fast and drop items much faster than normal. And it's all within the Jagex rules. They've said many times that mouse keys is legal. Um, Unfortunately, other programs like Auto Hotkeys aren't, even if you're using them for the same function. They just decided that they're not legal. I mean, I don't know if they can actually even tell the difference if you're using them for exactly the same thing. But mouse keys is for sure legal, so you won't get persecuted as long as Jags doesn't change their mind or anything. But um, yeah, that's really all there is for this video, guys. Hopefully, it's been helpful to you. Leave any questions you have below, and I'll be sure to respond to you guys. Um, I know that a lot of people just struggle getting mouse keys set up. It took me years to finally figure it out just because I didn't never like felt like it. But once you actually get it figured out and get it all set up, then it's really quite easy to use. And it'll really make your gameplay a lot more efficient. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have for you guys. Hopefully it's been helpful. Uh, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time.